Hello everyone and welcome to Mike Mike. This time we're playing Dwarf Fortress. It had a new version. It's been two years. So let's dive back into this shit. Um, I'm going to make this first video or videos a bit of a tutorial or, you know, an or orientation to Dwarf Fortress. And then we'll just... Uh, Take it from there. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Uh, first of all, you need to create a world, uh, and when you do that, you can just you get to set the size and history of the world and whatever, and it generates well all of that uh, up to a certain point. And then you get to set uh, where you want to embark your little caravan of dwarves to build a new and fancy fortress. So you move around the yellow cursor here on the world. It's all very lovely. Lovely AAA next-gen graphics YOLO swag. Um, and then you pick a place that sounds nice. Um, this place has... Uh, well, it's pretty nice. Temperature, trees, there's trees. There's <laughs> it's good to have trees. Um, what? Vegetation is moderate. Untamed Wilds isn't the best, but whatever. Let's embark, and well, you can play now or you can prepare for the journey carefully. I'm just gonna show you that real quick. Uh, here you have your first seven dwarves, the original uh, wrecking crew. And you go to the right here, you can actually. Uh, give them points or, or experience in all manner of crazy things from carpenter to liar flatterer bone doctor kicker biter dodger crossbow man crossbow dwarf no okay uh, usually go for like two guys at this one point in minor it's not that important um, I do. You can do it because they will automatically equip, get a uh, uh, pickaxe equipped, uh, which is nice. Otherwise, you might get screwed over. I, I don't know. Also, nice to have someone who's a uh, woodcutter. You can make one of these just novice mason and uh, carpenter as well. And um, then it's really. Well, you might. You want to have a guy that's a good appraiser and maybe give him like um, skills in uh, social skills but if you press tab go to the other screen and you can see oh man they gave me a steel anvil that's 300 points and I don't think it's a good idea to remove it because I don't think I can add another one so you're kind of stuck with it then of course two copper battle axes and two copper picks I don't know why I have two battle axes, really. Um, here, uh, you can remove some stuff, like a wheelbarrow. Um, where's the remove? I want to remove... Take. It's a good idea to take... Like, two dogs and two cats. I know it sounds a bit weird. But, you know, you can have dogs as guard dogs. And uh, cats... Uh, chase away and kill vermin so they keep your fortress a bit cleaner I like it you can see some dwarves here I have my cat if you press K you get a look at yellow cursor again and you can look at stuff like there's a stray dog there that's Odom Zosdodok the doctor standing on some bilberry bushes uh, we have Rimtar Alo Tizen woodworker uh, Erit Kubit Kupikes Epikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikipikip
Voldath Lillarmeng, the second miner. So that's cool. Two cats. That's our uh, wagon that we arrived in. There's some rocks and bushes. Yeah. Um, and these round things are trees. Um, if you go up a Z level, uh, imagine no, I'm backing up further away from the ground. <laughs> uh, okay, that was the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. Here you can start to see like the tree forming. Like imagine I'm c cut the tree top in half. Oh, maybe I'm, sta I'm staring down its neck. Uh, that sounds weird. Anyways, let's press D to uh, designate stuff like chop down that tree, you punk, or uh, uh, D again to dig, dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. When you're done, dig a bigger, dig a dig, dig a bigger tunnel. Blah, blah, blah. Chop down the tree, it goes timber. Any time now? Oh, that was a tiny tree. I think we need to chop down a few more. Timber motherfuckers! Let's just continue mining for a bit. And then put uh, J downward stairway. Over here. He's continuing to chop down trees. We're gonna need some wood uh, to build beds. Mainly, and maybe some barrels for all the booze we're gonna be making throughout this adventure! Uh, so they're done. Uh, let's go down a level. Uh, make an up-down stairway. This one goes back up again and further down. So let's go even further down and even further. Damn it. Even, even further down. Even... F shit, can I do that? Oh, I can just do that. I've been doing it stupidly all this time. You can do like mark and then just go down a few levels. I, I marked all of that for me. Digging, 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 digging. Cool. Um, right, maybe we want. We can actually put down a farm. We're in luck. Uh, this is something that I, I always do. If you have like. Uh, this is Pete. Maybe it won't work with Pete, by the way. Pete's an asshole. Um, if you have like a clay or sand wall, you can build a room. Uh, clay and sand walls don't produce like rock parts. Uh, the hell is that wall anyway? Uh, so you can and you can uh, build uh, far underground farm plots in them without uh, any hassle. Now we might actually have to uh, do some hassle, hassling. Um, that's okay. Let's see what this creepy wall is. Uh, obsidian. So I just won the universe, I think. Let's see if I can build a farm plot. You press B to build stuff, uh, then P is farm plot. And yeah, Pete is not an asshole. He's a he's a nice guy. So there you go. Put down a farm plot. So let's show how that's wor that works. B and then P, in case I didn't say that. <clears throat> if you go into B, you can just also scroll up and down with the plus or minus button buttons uh, on the D-pad. That's kind of nice. And you go up and down Z levels with the uh, less than or greater than the, those little buttons. But I've I've reconfigured them to be the slash and the multiply icon on the d-pad because I think that's kind of nice anyway stockpile time P for that you have a few options here we're going to start with stone and then we're gonna put it here with a boom I like big butts no I like um, uh, sand and clay wall uh, rooms because they don't generate stone so when you m want to make a stone storage it's not already full with stone filled with stone because if you see if you dig this shit uh, it's going to leave stones behind or maybe obsidian is weird and doesn't do that oh, there we go that's one of them it's a low chance for, for obsidian rocks it seems uh, that's bad let's go down here instead maybe down here let's make this the 
start of our fortress a few a few levels down. I wonder where that is. It's probably more sand. It's more more of peat. Um, you might want to make. Um, let's just make a bit of a corridor here. Uh, uh, let's start one way, and then we make a three by three room, like that. Let's make two because we want to make a carpenter and a masonry. Uh, because we need to start making doors and oh, maybe not doors, but beds and stuff. Uh, this is above my fortress. We have some weird animals here. It's a giant capybara, a huge rodent that walks on tall legs. It its bark can be heard at large distances. Uh, it is fond of swimming. That's nice. And then there's a short description of the creature in question here. Uh, the first one's just a general description of the creature. The species. Uh, another thing you might want to do is P and then... <laughs> that sounded weird. No, not, not P. Um, D. Add the plants with P. Still sounding weird. Mark some of them off for collection and collecting, and because uh, you could brew stuff with them and you can plant stuff. And then we let's learn another thing. It's Q time. Press Q. Go near a room like a farm plot, and then to the right you can set stuff like. You might might want, want to do plump helmets in the spring. That's A and then B for summer. Plump helmets. C is for autumn. Plump helmets. D is for winter. Plump helmets! You've struck native gold! Oh my god! It's a good freaking start. Oh, it's in the corner of my freaking um, workshop. Because I hate my life. Um the mason's workshop let's just <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry mason but you know, you're gonna have a it's gonna get weird just fuck it and then build workshop uh, carpenter let's see if carpenter has it if you can tell on those green X's some of them are slightly darker like three of them uh, I think those will block entrances, and you can't rotate these rooms for some reason. Uh, so keep that in mind if you notice a dwarf getting stuck, that that might be the case. Uh, which means you need to dig around him, sort of. Let's make it out of wood. Uh, the first thing you might want to do is actually we uh, a few wheelbarrows for them to easier carry around stuff in like stones weigh a lot so they are pretty slow if they're just hauling them uh, with their bare hands you might want to do that kind of early and uh, I think this is all I'm going to show you for the first part and the second part will cover making bedrooms and stuff getting the fortress up. the second part of getting the fortress ready to do shit Amazing shit. Let's just show you. I think I did show you. Q and then A to add new task. Make wheelbarrows. It's pretty sweet. Oh, we struck some more gems down here. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and like, subscribe! Why am I always angry with both of you? Dumbass. Um. This one, huh? I got it from this one. So. Oh, this is hard for me. Oh, this is hard for me. I'm hurting. I'm hurting all. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. What is that? Ow. Two spearmen. So now I'm